Whoa. Hey, uh, didn't maybe be able to see the sound effects. Try to do something cool. That didn't work. Um, hey, hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Charles Stowe. I am your student's math teacher, whether they're in math eight or math one on the Rockets team in eighth grade. Um, this is my fifth year teaching at Dillard. Uh, my previous four have all been seventh grade, so this is my first year in eighth. And I'm super excited, and it's been a great year so far, and everything's going great. So, yeah, it's all good. Everything's pretty, pretty good. So let's talk about class, right? That's why you're here. You want to know what my class is all about, how it goes. So there's a few things I would show you. So let's start by just talking about um, what your students should be bringing home, especially for Math 1. So for Math 1, we have a workbook. This is the MVP. Um, and there are different, <clears throat> excuse me, I dropped it. That's OK. We're not recording. Oh, we are recording. Um, I dropped it, but it's okay. So they've got different lessons throughout this, and we go through all of it. Um, there's not really anything that I leave out. It's a great curriculum. It covers plenty of things, gives a lot of practice. Um, so solid chance your students bringing home homework in this. I do give them time in class, but there might be a little bit more. Now, if you're in Math 8, it's a little bit of a different story. Yes, they will have this workbook, but for rigid transformations, which we're working on right now, I found it best to be giving them some notes. So they have different note sheets. I'll post, post notes on Google Classroom, which I'll show in a second. So while yes, your Math 8 students will have this, they're not bringing home homework in this. If they're bringing home homework, it's worksheets or extra problems we didn't get to in class. So Math 1, they should have that workbook. Math 8, it's coming. But for right now, their homework has been other things. Um, so let's talk about uh, some things that I have that are useful. If I can remember how to share a screen, it's been a while. OK, excuse the tabs. Let's share that. Bam, bam, shared. OK, um, so just a few things to show you would be I would start over here. Your student has a, a, a Wake ID portal. And whether you're Math 8 or Math 1, I have created a Google Classroom for both of those or all four of my classes. So if they go to Google Classroom, they'll see their course. So Math 1, Core 1, for example, I'll post things like we did Dragon Time, we did a Desmos. Um, here's notes. I like to put copies of notes on here. If I'm writing a note on here, I want to include it. So here's notes for geometric sequences that your student has access to on the classroom. Okay. And for Math 1, we're not, we're not using Google Classroom as much. Math 8, on the other hand, we will be using it more. So here's an example of Core 3. We did uh, Dragon Time activity today, um, Desmos. But here again, notes. So translations, for example. I, I put the notes up so they have something to use. And sometimes I throw in little drawings, like that drawing of a fish. OK, um, so that is Google Classroom. That's used heavier in Math 8, especially once we get to submitting assignments online. And uh, Math 1, I use it more for resources. The other thing that your students have access to is Canvas. Like I told you about the workbooks, um, Sometimes things happen. They lose a workbook or something. So for Math 1, the beautiful thing about this is all of the units are in order here. So if I click on Sequences, which would be our first unit, and let's say they forgot their workbook today and we're working on Lesson 6, bam, there it is, straight out of the workbook. So they have access. Obviously, they would write this down on a separate sheet of paper, and ideally, they would have their workbook, but just in case, Either they leave it at school and they have work at home, or they leave it at home and they have work at school. They're able to access this. Um, also, for Math 1, I will have, this is where we will have our quizzes, which we had. So we had a quiz. This is where we'll have our homework. I, I allow them. So they're doing homework in the book. But on Fridays, I'm going to give them time to turn in that homework they've been working on through the week online. So it's a quick grade, and they're able to get feedback. Um, so that's Math 1, but not to leave Math 8 out, they also have similar things. We've not used Canvas as much yet, but the workbook that I showed you earlier for Math 8 is also here. 
So we're working on rigid transformations and congruence. If they pick the like a lesson that we're working on, like let's just try the first one. Sometimes they will have manipulatives on here that go with a workbook. So they obviously they can't do this straight in their book, but they're able to use this to manipulate things like is this a translation is this a rotation so we'll use this at times um for right now i've been really focusing heavy on um just getting back into the swing of school for math eight and getting things going so that is um canvas and they all have access to that then for you and also for for them if you go to the dillard drive Oh, there it is. Do a drive website and then go to academics and we're in eighth grade and come down to math and then find me there at the bottom. There's my website. Bam. So this gets updated fairly regular. <laughs> so for math one, if you go here, I've got my syllabus, which has already been shared. And then I've got a page with homework, quizzes and tests. So if you click like the homework for last week, uh, you should be able to see what they had. And, you know, I do my best to keep that updated. Um, and also in the upcoming test, they already took this. So, yeah. And the same for eight. Upcoming test, Friday, or quiz, excuse me. And same with the homework. Okay? Um, so that's just my best way of trying to keep in touch. I believe that is it. Let's stop sharing. Okay. Um, that is pretty much it for me. If you need to contact me, my goodness, feel free. Uh, my email is cstow, C-S-T-O-W-E, at wcpss.net. Um, and, yeah, I'll do my best to get back with you. And we're having a good year. If you have any needs or concerns, just let me know. All right, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, and uh, yeah, I don't know how to end the recording. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Watch out for puddles.